Hi guys, um, today I'm gonna be filming just a little reading vlog for you. I've been planning on filming like a spring reading video and reading spring related books, but here in Utah it is, it's still snowing all the time. Like it snowed yesterday and so I changed my plan and we're just gonna do a little reading vlog. Anyways, um, I've done my morning routine and I clean up my mom's car. Um, I have a few reading updates for you. While I was walking Finn and cleaning the car, I was listening to the audiobook for Kindness and Wonder. This is a nonfiction um, biography about Mr. Rogers. This book is really, really interesting. Um, I've been raising the physical version for a while now. Nonfiction books, unless they're super, super interesting for me, I have a really hard time reading them, you know, because I just get really bored. And so I finally found the audiobook somewhere and I've been listening to it and it is so much nicer than the physical version. Like, the guy's voice and just being able to work on something while you're reading helps. I'm just really glad that I found this book. So this is the audiobook I'm currently listening to. And then the physical book that I'm currently reading, I started it like last night, is Half a Soul. Um, I was so engaged last night. It was so weird. Like when I start new books, I'm never usually like really engaged by the first page, but I don't know what it is, the writing style, the story, this like the time period, but I am so excited to read this book and that is kind of why I am doing reading, reading, reading and that is kind of why I'm doing a reading vlog right now because I don't want to miss documenting me reading this book because I can already sense a new favorite book and I'm so excited I'm so excited these are my two books I'm reading they are both really good so far and as for the rest of the vlog um, I think I'm going to go get Witch Hat at Lear Volume 2 because if you watched my 24 or my 35 hour readathon, I don't <laughs> I don't know why I called it that, but it was longer than 24 hours. I read the first volume in that video and I loved it so much and I've been meaning to buy it ever since. Um, and today's the perfect day because I have a few errands I have to run. I have to go get a picture frame. Um, I need... I think I'm gonna go to the thrift store and look for a good pair of jeans because I don't really have a good pair of jeans right now. And um, so I need to do that. And I also broke my last little hair clip. So I need to go get more of those. Um, and then while I'm out, I'm gonna get that manga and probably lunch. So you can come along with me. I got there was this picture frame for my friend. Um, my hands feel nasty, so I'm gonna go to Target so I can wash them. <laughs> then I'm gonna go get lunch because I'm starving. of the books I needed, which was great. The only one I really needed was Witch Hat Allier, but still, I just wanted it so bad. It's okay, I ordered it on Amazon and it actually is supposed to be here tomorrow, so it's not a big deal. And they actually had a buy one, get one 50% off, so I got the next two, so now I have volume two and three coming. Um, so it worked out, but still, I just spent so much time out and about today, and I feel like I just didn't actually get anything. But it's okay. Um, 
I, it was successful though. I mean, there's never an unsuccessful barn trip because really you just have fun when you're in there. You know, it's just a vibe. But I did actually buy something. So this is what I got. 100 days of calm and every day you get a little like, what are they called? You get a section that kind of talks about a different kind of coping mechanism or skill or something just to ponder about and then a little prompt down at the bottom and then you get to write on this side of the page and um, like it said there's 100 of them so here's day 100 quite a fun find I was really really happy with it also look these kind of match it's kind of cute anyways all right I really got to go to work because I am late. <laughs> well, I will be late if I don't leave right now. So I will see you after work. Okay, so I just got home from work and I am going to hurry and work out because my mom has friends coming over so I can't use the treadmill <laughs> um, unless I do it right now. I do want to just try out this hair clip really quickly. I just, I'm kind of really excited about it and I want to see how it looks. Okay, ready? It's just a little too small <laughs> for my normal hair. Like, too much of it sticks out. I think my hair is getting long enough that I have to, like, learn how to clip it like this. I just swear I never can. Oh, actually, I think I just did it. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, here it is. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that at all, but I have to go work out. You see now why I didn't do a spring video. Yesterday was so warm I could wear I could have worn this outside and now it's snowing. <sighs> this place is crazy. Okay, so I've made it to page 50 in Half a Soul, and I love this book so much, and I, I can already tell it's just gonna be so... First of all, it's like hilarious, and the things that she says are just too good, and I'm laughing like every five minutes. Um, but also, I am anticipating a very good romance in this book, so... I'm so excited and the time period is just so fun to read about. I haven't read a historical um, fantasy in a very, very long time. So I'm really excited to be reading this book. 
and I could probably sit here and finish it right now, except for the fact that I have a lot of stuff I need to do today. Um, I have a very long day at work today. I have to go in early. And I also am still doing the Project 50 challenge. So I have quite a lot of things I need to do. Yesterday when I was jump roping, I think I pulled a muscle in my leg. And <laughs> That sounds so stupid and I'm so mad at myself because it's just jump roping, like how hard can it be? But I did and it really hurts to walk on it right now. So I don't think I'm going to work out today. I might try and do like a 10 or 15 minute yoga video. Um, but <clears throat> that might also be too painful too. So it is also snowing outside at the moment. Um, and I don't think that I would... I don't think that I would enjoy a walk right now very much. So I'm going to skip walking Finn this morning. Poor guy. He gets really, like, just restless when he doesn't get to go on a walk. But it would be worse to go out in the snow with my injured leg at the moment. So <laughs> I cannot do that today. I am going to um, read and pray a little. I'm right now I'm reading in Matthew 13 with the it's like the the chapter that has like four or five different parables in it so I'm slowly working through that chapter and I also think I'm going to do a meditation this morning because I did not meditate yesterday that was the only thing I didn't do so I really want to get better at meditations because they're actually really nice they're like my favorite my favorite habit out of all of them but they're just really easy to miss sometimes because it only takes 10 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to go downstairs and eat my leftover panda, and then I have about an hour before I have to be at work, and I think I'm just going to read until then because I don't have enough time. <laughs> Finn, wait five seconds, okay? Just wait. No. Don't squeak it. Good boy. Um, <laughs> Luca just came. I got here so fast. He's like, it's just books. No, it's bent. It's okay, it doesn't look too bad. I think it'll be fine. <laughs> wow, oh, who is this guy? <laughs> what do you think? He likes him.
Why am I, why am I gonna cry? <laughs> why am I crying? <sighs> Sorry. I just had to... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just had to compose myself there for a second. Um... <laughs> Something is genuinely wrong with me in this moment. <laughs> I think this is genuinely my favorite book. It... It is like neck and neck with Anne of Green Gables right now. And if you know me, <laughs> you know how much I love Anne of Green Gables. I think at this moment, I like this book more, but I'm pretty sure that's only because I just read it. Um, but this is one of my six stars. And I only have like three six star books now. Can you guess what they are? <laughs> I'll let you. Technically I have five, but one of them's a trilogy. And so I kind of just count it. I'll give you a second to guess. I'm gonna go grab them. These are my new top three favorite books. We've got Anne of Green Gables, The Hunger Games. Honestly, Catching Fire is my favorite, but I kind of just like to think of it as The Hunger Games. <laughs> and now we have Half a Soul. I do want to give an honorable mention to Marissa Mayer's Renegades trilogy because this was currently, this was previously my third place and Olivia Atwater just blew this out of the park. I just, <laughs> I do still love these books though. Highly recommend these books anyways. I don't even know where to start. I don't want to start in this area because obviously this isn't the only thing I like about the book, but the romance in this book, top notch, top notch. I've literally never felt more butterflies in my entire life. I also, I had so much I had to do today, but I literally just read for the entire day. That's all I did. And once I finished the book, I, I kept reading for like two hours. I just kept rereading my favorite scenes. And you know it's a good book when that happens. You know it is. Obviously, this might be a little shocking. You might be like, last time you spoke to us, you were halfway through it, and now you're just finished it, and you've reread it twice, and you're in love with it. Yes. Here's the funny thing. I was going to read this book for my spring video. The one I keep talking about <laughs> that I can't film because it is literally snowing as we speak. Anyways, yeah, I was going to read this for that video and I read like five pages of uh, 13. I think it was 13 pages of it. And then when I realized I wasn't filming the video, I was like, I still want to read this book because I was in love with it after 13 pages. That genuinely has never happened in my life before. I remember when I was reading The Hunger Games, I read all three books in two days and I read the Mockingjay, I started it at one in the morning and I finished it. Like I didn't read, the first time I read The Mockingjay, I did not see the sun until I completed the book. And I mean, that was because this was the third book in the series. I remember when I read The Hunger Games, it took me a while to get into the characters and the book, but it took me 13 pages to say, you know what, screw all my video plans. I'm reading this book. And then after like 20 more pages, I was like, no, I, I have to do a reading vlog for this because I knew that this would be one of my favorite books in existence and it is. Okay, um, <laughs> I am going to do a little spoiler section. So if you have not read the book, please skip this section because I am begging everybody to read this book now. Um, but if you have, go ahead and watch it. First of all, I want to read my favorite quote in this book, which is probably everyone's favorite quote in this book. I'm not even kidding. Um, but here it is. This is like the, I think the major theme in this whole book. And it, it says, there is such a thing as evil in this world. It does not help to look away from it. It does not even necessarily help to look at it. But sometimes when you cannot force the world to come to its senses, you must settle only for wiping away some of the small evils in front of you. I think this book came to me at the exact time I needed it. Right now, I am very, I don't know, like, I don't know what the word is. 
I'm very discouraged and honestly a lot of the time I'm really angry because of all of the atrocities that I see in the world around me and a lot of I'm getting more into politics than I ever have before and it's honestly not very good for my mental health um who would have guessed but I think no matter what your political ideologies are or your religion or your beliefs everybody can agree that there are horrible things in this world and it tears people down sometimes and I think it's really important to know that it's not your fault and you can't do much to change it so you can't place that blame on yourself but you can do small little everyday things um to help wipe away the evils the small evils right in front of you and i just think that is beautiful also my other favorite quote is at the very very end so if you are still here and you haven't read this book yet please skip it because this is like the best part of the whole book and i don't want to spoil it for you okay but this is the quote it says this is at the very end when um <laughs> anyways i also don't know how to pronounce his name I'm definitely pronouncing it Elias in my head. And now that I say that out loud, I feel like that is very incorrect, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go with it. Dora said Elias, I am sure that your other half is very lovely, but I fell in love with you exactly as you are. And perhaps that is for the best because if you were suddenly twice as charming, then I would be utterly overwhelmed. <laughs> and then it goes, um, I am in love with you. You deserve to hear that. I love your wit and your cleverness. And I love that you are kind, but almost never nice. And then he goes on to say everything else he loves about her. But I just, that one line, I love that you are kind, but you are never nice, really stuck out to me because it's so true. She has compassion and deep love for everyone that she meets, but she doesn't let stupid people get away with stupid things. She's not like, societally nice when i was reading the last like 50 or so pages um i was listening to the song tewksbury's trail from enola holmes like the instrumental song um on repeat and it's probably gonna be like number one on my spotify wrapped now but i don't care when i read books i really like to equate songs to the book like because a song is just like a five minute thing but it will bring back all the emotions you felt while reading that book so if i can pick out a song that i think perfectly encapsulates encapsulates <laughs> can't say that word that perfectly represents a book then i will be able to revisit my love for that book more often and the song i picked for this book is tewksbury's trail because it just reminded me so much of Enola Holmes and that is just such a beautiful, soft, romantic song. Anyways, it is a good thing that I have two other books currently on my bookshelf that I am dying to read that I'm pretty sure are also gonna be five stars. Um, I'll go get them. You already know we got Witch Hat Atlier. I'm on volume two of Witch Hat Atlier and I'm going to read both of these. Probably not today because I do have a party. I know, shocking, I'm going to a party. So I'm gonna read these tomorrow, probably tomorrow Sunday, so I have a lot of free time. And I'll get back to you tomorrow. <gasps> what? I just, <laughs> I just found a mini supernova inside my I'm so confused. Honestly, it's cute, but I am genuinely so confused right now. Um, anyways. This is what my yard looks like. Um, <laughs> it's 
almost April. <laughs> This morning I woke up and I just read for like an hour <laughs> and it was so nice. Um, I, I just love reading first thing in the morning. I don't get to do it very often. I always feel like I'm wasting time if I'm doing that, but today I felt pretty good about it. I got to page 70 in volume three. Right, Finn? We're making progress. is covered in dust hi <laughs> um what's up uh, i chopped off all my hair but you're not supposed to know that so just pretend like you don't see it okay because that's for another video my my beautiful brain works in weird ways and i'm now filming my outro for this video and it's been a very long time um but this is a fun video and it's very fun because all of the books that i read are five stars yeah so basically um i know i've already talked a bunch about this so you probably don't want to hear any more but this is probably my favorite book ever right now and then this is my favorite manga series ever and i don't know what it is about manga but i usually like grade it less harshly does that make sense like when i'm giving my ratings it's a lot easier for a manga to get five stars than it is for a book and i think it's like if i like the series as a whole, it kind of all meshes into one big story for me. So I kind of just end up giving all of the volumes five stars. Unless, like, one volume is really boring. Obviously, I'm not going to give it five stars. But both of these were super good. I love how they always put the character that they're focusing on on the main cover. It helps me remember what's in each book. And I am just really loving where this story is going. And I'm so sad that this is one of the shorter mangas out there. It's like, I think it's on volume 10 or 11 right now. So this is going to end a lot sooner than I'm ready for it to. I'm already on volume 5 because it's been a while. This, this outro 
really, um, I mean, it's, it's spring now. So, yeah, I spent the entire video complaining about how I wish it was spring. <laughs> and then spring came on so fast. Like, everything is green now. And it's so warm outside. Excuse me. He's just an attention hog. He wants some love. Say hi. Hi. Anyways, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed it. All five stars. Can't ask for more. It was great. And my camera's falling, so I'm gonna leave now. Good boy. I'd like to spend my vacation at the library! <laughs>